Hey everyone, today we're going to be making some jewelry with polymer clay and art resin. We're going to start by taking a piece of white clay and cut a circle. For the other two pieces, I'm using Primo accents in the color bright green pearl and pickup pearl. Cut the clay in a triangle shape to make a Skinner blend. Take the two triangles and put them together to make a square. Fold it in half and pass it through your pasta machine until you achieve the desired gradient effect. For these earrings, I'm using a diamond cutter, but you can use any shape you like. Once you finish cutting all your pieces, bake them according to your clay instructions. For the design, we're going to use nail stamping plates. These plates are made of stainless steel and comes in lots of different patterns and shapes. They are made to easily create patterns on nails, but today we're going to use them on polymer clay. You're also going to need a nail stamper and a scraper. I got a very inexpensive one from eBay. And I got this nail stamping plate from BundleMonster.com. Now you're going to take nail polish and you're going to cover the entire image. With the scraper, you're going to scrape the nail polish to the side and then pick up the image with the nail stamper. And here's a clip in slow motion. This process is definitely not difficult, but it takes a little bit of time to get the hang of it. Once you pick up the image with the stamper, press it into the baked clay. The nail polish wasn't as white as I wanted to, so I repeated this step to achieve the desired opacity. Repeat the same process to make the mermaid pattern. And now for the fun part, we're going to dome our jewelry with some resin, so you're gonna need some measuring cups and some art resin. Art resin is super clear and it's super easy to mix. You just need two equal parts of part A and part B. Mix for approximately 3 minutes or until the resin looks clear. This resin is excellent for doming because it's very thick and holds the dome without falling through the sides. I got some bubbles in my resin and I'm popping them with a torch. Let the resin cure for approximately 24 hours. Once they cured, take a Q-tip with some acetone and clean the nail polish excess. What I also love about our resin is that it's super clear once it's cured and it gives an amazing shine to my pieces. 
To turn my pieces into dangle earrings, I'm going to use a Dremel and a piece of foam. For the stud earrings, I'm using my favorite glue. Here are the final pieces. If you want to get some art resin, go to artresin.com and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!